what's up everybody it's your boy djhd i just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up um explanation and uh, opinion about why i bought the rain one uh one year after it was, it was released even though there's a newer bigger badder option out there in the pioneer ddj rev 7 now you know this video is not to disparage the rev 7 in any way or to claim that the Rain 1 is any greater or, uh, or better than the Rev 7. There are things about the Rain 1 that um, I think are better than the Rev 7, but the Rev 7 is a uh, newer controller with more features um, and a bigger price tag. Um, so these are these are my these are my this is this is just my uh, take on why for me. The Rain One is preferred to uh, using the Rev Seven. You know, the Rain One feels much like a, a shrunken down uh, version of two Rain Twelves uh, and a, and a Rain. I think it's a seventy two controller. That's really what it feels like. It feels like a miniaturized version of that, and and that's what I want. That's what I wanted because eventually I want two rain 12s and a mixer i can i learned djing from cdjs and uh, you know digital jog wheels that's what i learned on i never i didn't I, I've, I've played with techniques before but i didn't i've never dj'd a set on techniques i'm not a techniques turntables uh turntablist so um i've always had the experience of being on digital jog wheel controllers um, I, my first controller was a Hercules, and then I um, and then I went for, from that to um, the Vestach. I think it was a Vest, Vestach Typhoon, and then from that uh, I graduated to the Pioneer uh, DDJ SX. I had the gold one, loved it, DJ uh, on that, made a lot of money uh, for years using that. Then I upgraded to the DDJ. Uh, Pioneer DDJ SZ2, beast of a controller, probably still my favorite, not so much because of the size, because it was very inconvenient, which is why I sold it, because I'm a mobile DJ, uh, DJing like four or more gigs a week, so, you know, the, the mobility of the SZ2, you know, it's mobile, smaller and lighter than two turntables and a mixer, but, you know, after a while, you just get tired of the weight and making room for it, so then I, from that, I upgraded to the uh, Pioneer DDJ uh, 1000 SRT, which I still have. To me, that is the greatest controller ever made. Just the layout, the features, the performance, the the look, everything about it is just top notch. But you know, I got to a point where I wanted to, um, I, I, like I said, I want to eventually. I want to get Rain 12s. I don't want needles. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with a tone arm or none of that. So the Rain 12 for me is perfect. And for me, this, something the size of a Rain 1 and a Rev 7 would be perfect. But for me, the Rain 1 is, even though it's a different company, Rain, it is the closest to the, what I'm used to, to the uh, Pioneer controllers, the uh all the ones that I just listed, especially the the latest one that I still own, the 1000 SRT. Amazing, amazing controller. And so the layout of the Rain 1 is very similar to that. Um, there are a few minor differences like the uh, uh, strip search and the um, browse knob being on the opposite side, small things like that. But for the most part, it's got the traditional layout with the, with the um, pads on the bottom of each of the controllers and then the mixture section being in the middle. So the Rev 7 is is really a departure from that. The Rev 7 is purpose built to be more of a battle style controller. It's it's made and it's laid out um, in a in a fashion that is most convenient for what battle DJs are most accustomed to. I'm not a I'm not a battle DJ. I'm not even really a I'm not even a scratch DJ. I scratch to like as an effect to bring in songs or the or the outro songs. 
I do my little spin backs and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm not a turntablist, scratch, you know, battle DJ. So I really don't need that battle style. I don't like the pitch faders being up here. Like, I, that's just, that's not what I'm used to. That's not what I want. So even though the Rev 7 is a Pioneer product, it feels less like a Pioneer controller than the Rain 1 does. And that's okay. You know, some people want that. They like that. They want to, you know, learn a new way of DJing. And that's fine. I don't. That's, that's the main reason why I went with the Rain 1 over the Rev 7. And there's some other, other differences that, you know, might affect your purchasing decision as well. Now, I'll go through a few of the differences uh, real quick. Uh, one is, um, you know, these feel like, these feel like, Two turntables and a mixer that have been shrunken, right? Seven-inch jog uh, platters. Um, I th this I'm, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six four, uh, almost three hundred pounds, and uh, you know, so my hand seven-inch platters. You know, just to give you a reference. I mean, it's, it feels fine. Uh, the Rev Seven feels more like, you know, a controller with spinning jog wheels. That's, 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 if I had to, you know, you know, explain it that way, I mean, that's what it seems to me. And, and it's weird because even though I said that, um, you know, the Rain 1 feels more like uh, closer to the, to the Pioneer products than the Rain, than the Pioneer does, um, that's just in, in the layout. The Rev 7, the pads, the control pads are in the middle um, the effects are in the middle and then the pitch fader being up here. It's, it's, it's just a new different way to train your muscle memory. Um, I wasn't really feeling that. I also like the classic look of just the, the turntables. I mean, I, I, I think it's clean. Um, these have motorized platters, whereas the, the Pioneer Rev 7 has I think it's something like uh, motorized jog wheels or something like that. Um, so they're 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 digital jog wheels. They have like a screen in the middle, and you can customize it. Really dope, really dope. Um, these are a little bit more. They're more old school. They're more analog, and I actually like that. I like that look. And there's some customization that you can do with that that um, I prefer. And I'll show you like one of those uh, a little bit later in this video. And then so. Um, you know, again, not saying that the, that the Rev Seven is bad because it's not. It's great. It's a great controller. Um, I think it's, it retails now for eighteen ninety nine. I bought this one for fifteen ninety nine. So you know, it's a three hundred dollar difference. Um, there, there are some other like small differences, like the aux is split between the uh, mic two and aux. You know, uh, whereas I, I believe the Rev Seven is dedicated. Um, and you, you you can even hit another switch for line and portable, and it'll add like a like a like an eight dB gain on on that channel. Cool. I mean that's cool. The Red Seven um, also allows you to add an echo to your mic. That I wish I wish the um, Rain One had. I mean just to have the ability to add that little echo on on a microphone. Um, I, I would love that. You know, but that's something that I've lived without a long time. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm used to it, but but that is an advantage that the Rev Seven uh, does have over the Rain One. Another difference is the uh, uh, like I mentioned before, the the knobs, the knobs on the Rain on the Rain One, so small and cheap feeling. I, I just don't like that. I'm definitely used to the the bigger the bigger knobs on the Pioneer. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna change that out. I'm gonna, um, I forgot which uh, website I normally use to uh, order my caps, but um, you can you can go online and Google uh, caps um, for controllers and you get your new cap. I'm gonna do that for a couple of these. I just want it to feel a little bit more substantial. There are certain ex uh, advantages that the Rain 1 has over the Rev 7, for example, are the outputs. Rain 1 gives you all XLR outputs, all XLR, booth, master, 
It's all, all uh, XLR, and then you've got also a Master Unbalanced RCA. The Rev 7 is, you know, the typical Pioneer. They'll give you the um, main out being XLR, and then the um, booth being quarter inch. Uh, same thing with the microphones. You know, the microphones, I don't have any microphones plugged up, but uh, microphones, uh, both the uh, Mic 1 and Mic 2, they're, uh, they're XLR, um, actually, actually a combo jack. You can do, you can do XLR and quarter inch, but you, you do have the XLR option. Pioneer is, uh, mic one is XLR or combo jack. And then, um, mic two is a uh, quarter inch. As you can see, your aux in is, um, is, uh, RCA, you know, um, small differences. I, I, I believe that uh, having all XLR is an advantage. It's a little bit more premium feeling. I think, um, you know, quarter inch and then it's, it's, just, it's just a little bit cheap. It's just a little cheap feeling, in my opinion. Rain 1, it feels like a combination of analog and digital, which I really, really enjoy. So you definitely have a lot of um, digital components about the Rain One, I mean, it's definitely, uh, you know, driven by Serato. It's got, uh, in fact, with the effects, the effects are all Serato effects, right? That's all digital, right? But there are certain things about it that are still like analog feeling, like, you know, just the, the toggle switches, they're all substantial. This is a full metal. This is a full metal, and you see, like, it's been, um, it automatically turned itself off after several minutes. It's timed of of just spinning. It just it deactivated itself. Pretty cool. But um, I, I like the strip search. I like the the strip search. Uh, I, even though I didn't have that option on my um, pi, on the one thousand SRT, uh, this just you can just look at it and see where you are in the song. And when you get towards the end, it starts to blink, and you can just very easily just jump you know, jump around in your song. Very, very simple, easy to look at. I mean, I, I love that. Um, and, you know, with the Pioneer, uh, with the Rev 7, you can do a needle search. You'd have to hold down shift, and then you can you use the jog wheel to find yourself in the song. Uh, I, I don't, I think that's, it's, it's effective, but it's just not as intuitive. Um, and then uh, also with the Rev 7, the shift button is in the middle. Whereas you've got a shift button on, they're, they're small, but you've got a shift button on, on each of the uh, controllers. And then, you know, the Rain 1 is missing certain new features like the scratch, the sample bank. I think that's really dope. It's uh, it, In addition to your pads here, there's like a whole, there's another set of pads above their jog wheel, um, you know, that you can just uh, program hot cues like four of them or access their sample their scratch sample banks that's cool but um and this doesn't have that but you know like again this is a simpler device it's clean and to the point and that's what i really uh, really enjoy and i like the clean the clean look and when i mentioned earlier that this is a combination of digital and analog uh so like the the the, the uh, platters, they are really analog. The pioneers they have the screen in the middle. That's cool. But to be honest with you, I, that feels more like a gimmick to me. And again, I'm not I'm not disparaging you know any other controller because the uh, DDJ 1000 SRT that I use it has the screens inside of the jog wheel, right? But to be honest, I don't I hardly use it. I mean, I hardly use it. Um, I'm sure there are DJs out there who live and die by the screens. That's cool, but really, like most of those ty that type the type of information that's on those those scre those uh, little screens, I use my, my laptop screen for that. So uh, it it just never really appealed to me that much. But um, what I really enjoy is uh, so you know you're able to very easily replace these. Um, the, the vinyl and customize it for yourself. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. I'm trying not to lift up the lip, uh, slip mat that's underneath. But 
So um, I lifted this up, and the reason I lifted it, lifted it up so easily is because I took out the um, the, the spindle holder uh, at the top of it, um, and here's the slip mat underneath. Just a typical, just like a record, just like you know regular turntables. So I, I really like the fact that you have the ability to replace just a regular vinyl platter top, the, the regular vinyl record, um, with something custom. And a click. You know, I like that. I mean, you know, I like it. I like it. I prefer doing that than putting my logo inside of the screen. You know, I mean, it's 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 more analog. It's more real. It's more, you know, tactile. It's something that I'm going to be touching all the time. So, it's just a preference thing. It doesn't mean that the Rev Seven is bad, but this I'm telling you, this is just what I prefer. So, um, in fact, we'll do both. Take this one off. Clean. I mean that. I mean, I, to me, this works. You know, this works. So, um, to each his own. Um, you know, it's it's your preference. It's your money. You know, you can spend your money how you'd like. But um, this is what I. This is my humble opinion on on why I chose to go with the Rain One over the Rev Seven. It's your boy DJ HD. It's not just a DJ. It's a whole vibe.